You first want to grab a package of one gallon paint stir sticks from your local hardware store. You want a total of six of these sticks. So go ahead and just start creating a square out of them. And then you're going to want to place one going horizontally and vertically. So once I have that all figured out, I am using this Dollar Tree adhesive glue with a mixture of hot glue to glue all of those pieces together. So that way it creates this cute wooden window. Then I'll be using some Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster, just painting this window all throughout. I did end up using two coats. You want to dry the first coat before going on to the second coat and allow that all to completely dry. And once that white was dry, I wanted this to have a nice weathered look to it. So I am using some brown acrylic paint, putting a small amount of the paint on my paintbrush and just going all throughout using very light brush strokes. And this is what we call dry brushing. And this is what it looks like, super cute. You then wanna grab some chicken wire. I got this big thing from Home Depot as well. Just carefully measure it out to the back side of that window frame. Use a pair of scissors just to cut that right off. And then just start placing it onto the back of that window. Now you could hot glue this down. I find it easier to use my staple gun. So I just went all around and just stapled that chicken wire right onto the back side. And this is looking super cute. I then got these wooden letters from Hobby Lobby, went ahead and just started painting them with Waverly chalk paint in the color ink. Only needed one coat for this. And while that black chalk paint was still wet, I just sprinkled over some ground cinnamon, let that completely dry, and then go over the letters with some Mod Podge just to seal and protect that cinnamon. And now you just created these adorable rust looking letters. Now go ahead and find a good placement for the letters onto your window frame. I first just hot glued them, but just for some extra support, I did end up using my staple gun on the back side and just attaching the chicken wire to the back of those letters. I then grabbed this greenery from Hobby Lobby as well, just made a small wreath out of it, and then just cut up some of this homespun fabric. Also came from Hobby Lobby and just created a bow out of it. Tied some string around that wreath and then just went ahead and placed the wreath where I wanted it and then just hot glued the ends of that string to the back side of that window frame just to make sure everything stays in place and then found a good placement for the bow on the top side of that wreath and then i also just hot glued this rusty star right in the center of that bow and there you go guys this was super easy quick and inexpensive to create and it is so adorable i hope this inspires you to create your own in your own special way if it did please be sure to sprinkle the love thank you so much and have a good day bye